Hi, friends. You know who this is. This is my Clifford. Now, this Clifford is not as big as the real Clifford. I'm going to read a Clifford story because it's Colors Week, and we're starting with the, the color red. What? Oh, Clifford wants you to know that he's really much bigger and he's also not a real dog. He is a character in a story. And that's what I'm gonna read today. I'm Mrs. Zerbel and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Cabrillo. And in honor of Red Day, we're gonna read a Clifford story. So I'm gonna put Clifford down. He's gonna listen too. Since you're at school, he wanted to read a story about when he went to school. He didn't go to regular kindergarten. Clifford went to dog school. The title of this book is Clifford Goes to Dog School. And if you've never heard of Clifford before, he's a very, very, very large red dog. There's lots of books about him. And there's a show about him, too. Here we go. Clifford goes to dog school. I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog, Clifford. Clifford is a very smart dog. He can do tricks. Now, do you see how big Emily Elizabeth is? And do you see how big Clifford is? That's a big dog. It's also from someone's imagination. That's right, because dogs aren't really this big. He can beg. There's a little sign here, and it says, we'll work for kibbles. That's dog food. Look, he's begging. He can shake hands. Watch out! He has big paws. You really should see him Play dead. Now, playing dead is something that they have dogs pretend to fall down and go. Here he goes. It's going to take a few pages for him to do it. He's good at that. I thought he was perfect, but my aunt didn't agree. She was a dog trainer. Dog trainers like a teacher for dogs. She said that no dog was perfect unless he'd been to dog school. Like her dog, Sandy. Sandy. Wow, Sandy was very well behaved. That's Sandy right there. Sandy is like a regular sized dog. Clifford was too big for regular dog school. So my aunt said she would train Clifford herself. First, he had to learn to heal. He had to walk next to her on a leash. So when they heal, they have to walk next to them. And then when they stop, the dog needs to stop too. Okay, so she's putting a leash on. There's Sandy. The leash was a little too short. Look what happened. That's the dog trainer. Oh, no. Auntie got a longer leash for Clifford. Do you see how long the leash is? That leash, uh-oh, was a little too long. Look what happened. They got tangled up. Auntie said... We would come back to that lesson. So sometimes if you can't do it, you can practice something else, right? And come back to it. Next, she told Clifford to sit. Clifford is very smart. And he sat. Uh-oh. He sat on this gentleman right there. Uh-oh. Luckily, Clifford didn't sit down very hard. The man wasn't hurt. He was just surprised. Look, they're helping him up. 
Auntie said that Clifford was pretty good at sitting. Now he needed to learn how to stay. So once you get the dog to sit, then you say stay. And the dog has to sit there and knock it up. So that meant not moving until he was told to move. No matter what happened. Okay, so they have to stay no matter what happens. She told him to sit and stay. There it is. Auntie said she had some good books on dog training that I should use. She went to her house a few blocks away. She had so many good books about dogs, and I love to read. I guess I was so busy reading, I forgot about Clifford. He was still sitting and staying. And look, there's Sandy. Sandy was sitting and staying, too. He knew he had to sit no matter what happened. Now, look, do you see this truck? Let's go back. This truck says pooch food. That's dog food. Pooch is another word for dog. So look, there's a big pile of dirt here, and here comes the pooch food truck. <gasps> so it hits the bump. It hits the bump, and look what happens. The pooch food is falling out. And look at Clifford. Clifford's licking his lips. He wants some really bad. Sandy moved. Oh, look, all the dogs are coming. In the neighborhood, all the dogs are coming. Sandy moved, but Clifford, Clifford stayed. What a good dog. Even when a Frisbee flew by his nose, he stayed. Clifford loves to chase Frisbees. Look how hard he's trying. Look at his face. He's, playing. he's trying so hard to stay. There's dog food. There's Frisbees. Even when some dogs and cats played near him, look, Clifford stayed, and it was hard. Back at Auntie's house, I suddenly remembered Clifford. How, how could I have forgotten my dog? Look, Sandy. Sandy's not sitting and staying anymore. That's probably why Emily Elizabeth remembered. I ran back to Clifford as fast as I could. I wasn't very careful, and I forgot to look both ways when I crossed the street. Clifford saved me. I guess Clef I guess Clifford will never be the best trained dog. But to me, he'll always be the best dog in the world. Now, I had a class last year that we talked about this story. And we think that Clifford is a really well-trained dog because he sat and sat and sat until he saw that Emily Elizabeth was in trouble. This story's called Clifford Goes to Dog School. I hope you like it, and I hope you have fun with your Clifford ears. Did you like it? Let's see. Did you like it? He did. See you next time.